Sheikh Gumi reveals why the North will suffer greatly if Nigeria breaks up today. At first, when you look at that title, one would wonder why these scholars and clerics from the North will keep reminding the rest of the South of how their suffering will increase greatly if we should break apart. But they are still the same group of people, the same region, the same tribe that is trying to muscle on the rest and they claim that they are born to rule. When you look at the resources they have in the northern part of Nigeria, we are talking of human resources, they claim that they are much, but we are actually not seeing the relevance of that number. And they claim that they have a huge land mass and we are not seeing them make use of this huge land mass as you find lots of poverty, lack of education, uncivilized people in the northern part of Nigeria. Sheikh Gumi, the prominent Islamic scholar from northern Nigeria, Dr. Hamad Abubakar Mahmoud Gumi, has declared that Nigeria will disintegrate and that the north will suffer most compared to other regions. According to him, the face of a possible breakup, in the face of a possible breakup, the southwest will be relatively stable, south, southeast will be stable, but the north will be very volatile. Narrating what Nigeria would be like if disintegrated, the cleric said, I see chaos. Probably Nigeria can even disintegrate and disintegration will be bad for Nigeria. Now, I would prefer him saying that disintegration will be bad for the northerners and they have to get their acts together. They have to get their works together. They have to begin to re-educate themselves and put things right. He said, let me tell you about the north if there is disintegration. The worst thing any country will, will like is to have an unstable country as a neighbor. And when you bring forth this argument or this presentation, uh, when you look at all of this, you, you will realize that it's like a threat. Like, you know what? The North will not be stable, so it's going to disturb the rest of the South. But I think we are ready for all of this. Any nation that cannot protect its border and its own people is not worth being a nation. I think there is no way Biafrans, there is no way the South, there is no way they will not protect their borders if it has to take them to actually annihilate this terrorist and whoever that wants to become a threat. I don't think it's a difficult thing anyway. So that shouldn't be any cause for worry. Although, although uh, when we are talking about on protection we should also realize that these people many of them have been brainwashed and there is no country in the world that has totally um, kicked out terrorism these people they are ready to die and they will be brainwashed even more possessed even more bloodthirsty even more and they want to get into you know the the rest of the the, the southern part of nigeria to create havoc and of course we know what will become of them anyway so it was quoted telling Sun newspaper this. You say, so Southwest will be relatively stable, like I said. Southeast will be stable, but the North will be very volatile. How can we in the North contain Boko Haram? No way. Nigeria cannot break apart because they want um, the load of Boko Haram to be shared by everybody. So they are afraid of their own diseases they are afraid of their own challenges and the issues that is surrounding them in the north yet they are so bold to speak um just anyhow they like it's so funny when people need you they need your help and the way they go about talking anyway he said how can we contain the problem of the herdsmen in the north we cannot contain them so they know that there is a problem that the herdsmen are a menace to the citizens of that contraption called Nigeria. They know they are minutes to the south. So is that in fact the little weight of the southwest and the southeast are having to fight them is what is even suppressing them. But if you go and leave us with them, we will just eat ourselves and you have a very volatile north. And I do not think we will have peace there because the borders are not barbed wires and there are so many inter marriages. It's talking about people getting married to the people of the north. That means nothing. Intermarriage does not stop Nigeria from breaking apart. That's just fallacy. And that's my own opinion anyway. So he said, in fact, Nigeria will be just be like another Lebanon or Yemen. Nobody can control the north because nobody has monopoly of power in the north. 
the earthmen if they have an any iota of political acumen even if they are evil since your man is in power what do you do you lie low to allow him to have the power but they are not you don't become so virulent and you end up destroying the northern power by attacking people everywhere not caring who is there let me tell you this he went further to say nobody is in control of the north now no northern politician has the clout to embrace everybody in the north everybody in the north is with his clique and that is very dangerous situation for the country the southwest is divided into two equal house and nobody is in control there that is what they say but generally the people are not violent uh well I, I wouldn't know what it means by being divided into two hours anyway but then that is his own personal opinion he said they can negotiate and stay in peace the people of the southeast seems to understand what they need to do because they own their businesses i see it to be more stable even though kano ipob people are there because generally the population there can understand and negotiate they can only have population problem if people ask them to go back to their region but they're not so you cannot imagine so it's pointing out about the population explosion that might become the north you know and the, uh, but that might become the southeast but then the south is always going to remain the south 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 and i don't think there's going to be a problem the space is enough for everyone in the south to stay in so guys what is your own take about this issue of um volatile not if we break apart and how they are going to terrorize the rest of the region do you think that is enough for any for anyone to say okay you know what let's stay together or do you think um, it is what for us to break apart and focus on how violent they want to be and we deal with them that is what it is for now if you're not a member of this channel let us build it together and you can be a part by you simply tapping on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell below it will automatically alert you whenever videos are uploaded and for those who are already a member of this channel thanks for being a support thanks for stopping <laughs>